Hey there. So this is obviously a bit different than my usual videos, but this is a product review. So if that's not your deal, feel free to skip this video. I should have my normal video coming out in about two weeks from whenever this is released. So I got a lighting kit for the Modular Museum from a company called Le Light Go. It's like, you know, they took the word Lego and, and just split it with the word light in there. Um, <laughs> and overall, I really like how it looks in the end. The, the lights look great on the set. I think most people who are familiar with modular buildings and just Lego sets in general probably would agree that lights look better than, than not. I really can up the display value. It was fairly straightforward to set it up. There are instructions online and it's pretty clear how to do it. I would say the level of difficulty is somewhere, it's, it's harder than a normal Lego set, but it's not quite as hard to decipher as like an Ikea instructions. It's a little more clear than that. The hardest parts for me were just actually doing it. I knew what I needed to do, but it was hard to make my hands get the wires to go where they needed to go. Uh, they do say you should have tweezers, which I could not find my little ones. So, you know, that's probably my fault, <laughs> uh, th that difficulty. But I don't really care for the way that the wires go underneath in, in between bricks and stuff. It, it just is hard to put the sets back together all the way when you do it that way. I also broke the lights that go on the cherry tree, so in the footage you won't see the cherry tree lit up, but there are supposed to be four little light lights that go in the tree itself. I honestly can't emphasize enough how hard it was for me to get it all to go into place. I am so- uh, Are you kidding me? How? How? How are you supposed to do this? Ugh. In the end, everything is wired together, including the floors. And so if you want to play with it, you know, that's half of what Lego sets are for is to play with them. It takes away all of the modularity of that. And that is something that you could fix with magnetic connections, but I don't think that Le Light Go has those. I, I might be wrong. I know that those exist somewhere, but I just wanted to see it, check it out, test it out, see what, it, what all the hubbub was about for myself for all these lighting kits. <laughs> yeah. So would I recommend it? No. Yeah, sure. If you want to light up a specific set, they have a ton of them. They are straightforward to set up if not hard to do yeah but i am assuming that any lighting kit will be a similar uh level of difficulty <laughs> how are you supposed to do this and if you if you have hands that work better than mine do you, you'll probably have less trouble or if you you know find your tweezers first but just know going forward that it's not as easy as a lego set to set up itself but the end product is really cool and it and it looks great
So thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this, I have one other review so far. Most of my content though is actually time lapses and stuff of, of building the city. It's not like this, so you can still subscribe, but this isn't the kind of content I normally do. You should go check out all that other stuff though. So yeah, check out the other stuff that I've got on my channel. I'd super appreciate it. Thanks again for watching. Take care, play well, and I will see you next time. <laughs> How are you supposed to do this?